If you have seen my Pujagi window hanging patterns, you will know that there is a lot of variety. Today, I'm going to rank them in order of easiest to most complex. Welcome to Evita Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, Pujagi and embroidery. Here are my 10 current patterns, starting with the simplest. If you have never made a Pujagi window hanging before, then a little project like a scrappy star or a simple block is a great way to get started. I have free tutorials on my website, evitastudio.com. You can use scraps and get used to the technique before following a more formal pattern. Check the link below for these tutorials. Gleam is a great beginner project. It uses width of fabric strips and can be made in a variety of color combinations. Because of the construction technique, no two pieces will be identical. It goes together easily and can be finished in an afternoon. Glimmer is another good first project. It is slightly more complicated than Gleam, but only because of the number of seams. This piece uses six quarter yards of fabric either regular quarters or fat quarters. So if you have some petite fat quarters that you purchase on an impulse and you don't know what to do with them, this is a good project. Gradient panels looks like a complicated pattern, but it is not too difficult. Pieces are stitched together in units and then the units are joined together to make the larger piece. There are clear diagrams to show what goes where in the finished piece. It is a little more time consuming than Gleam and Glow just because of the number of pieces, but it is also a beginner level pattern. Glow is slightly more complex because it has diagonal seams. So even in regular quilting, diagonal seams are a little bit more complicated than straight seams and the Pujagi seam technique makes it even more so. But if things don't line up perfectly, you can always trim it down. So you might want to do a couple practice seams first, but once you get that down, this piece will be easy. The Christmas tree window hanging uses half square triangles and has a lot of seams, but it is made by making larger pieces and then trimming them down so you don't have to worry about precision piecing. Even if you've never made a window hanging before, you'll be able to make this piece. It is a bit time consuming because of the number of seams and the amount of trimming, but it isn't too difficult. This pattern also has two size options. A beginner could probably make the small option in about five to eight hours. Fall is the first piece from my Four Seasons collection. These patterns are more complex than the other patterns that I've shown so far. This pattern requires piecing things and then cutting them down to the right size. The piecing is not obvious from looking at the picture. You will need to read and follow all the instructions carefully. I have had many people make the fall window hanging successfully from just following the pattern but some people like more instruction. For this, I also have an online course available. This provides step-by-step -step video demonstrations for each part of the construction. I also occasionally offer live Zoom workshops for this window hanging. So check my website or follow me on social media to see what is coming up. Spring is this nice flower window hanging. Like the other pieces from the Four Seasons collection, it involves joining pieces and then cutting them down to size. This one includes a template to be able to get the right angles. Because of the angles, it is slightly more difficult than fall, but it's easier than summer and winter. Summer is the sunshine made with smaller strips. If you just look at the picture, the piecing isn't obvious, but following the instructions step by step will give you a good result. This piece also includes a simple template. 
Winter is the most complex of my patterns to date. The piecing is not intuitive, but larger pieces are cut and trimmed down. I don't recommend this as a first projogging window hanging project, but once you're familiar with the process, it's very achievable. I also have an online course for this window hanging because of the complexity. No matter what pattern you choose, just remember that this technique is different than regular quilting, so all the rules that you know don't apply. If you are a precision piecer who wins all the awards at the show, you will need to let go of some of your perfectionism. Once you do that, you will find that this technique is fun and makes unique pieces for your home. If you've made any of my patterns, let me know what you thought of the difficulty and how it compares to traditional piecing. Check the link below to find out how to get these patterns and try them for yourself. For more information about this technique, including tutorials and more inspiration, then check out my website, ebitastudio.com.